Hi everyone, it's Tiffany again. Welcome back to my baby journal. This is now week 31. She is the size of an asparagus at 16.1 inches and approximately 3.31 pounds. So it's been a very emotionally taxing week. Um, first, we had our prenatal checkup. Um, they took my weight and turns out that I actually did not gain a single pound from my previous appointment. So I have not gained any weight for three weeks or more. Um, you're supposed to gain a pound a week starting at the last trimester. So um, I'm starting to get a little concerned. So I asked the doctor to do an ultrasound. So we're going to have one um, in two weeks to check the growth of our daughter. So for the second appointment, we, I attended a gestational diabetes class with three other women. Um, we had a counselor who talked to us about what our level should be when we test our blood in the first thing in the morning and in, um, one to two hours after our meals. Um, so prior to this class, I thought I was in range because when you look at what a normal person's blood level should be, they say that your fasting is 100 or less in the morning and then it should be between 120 to 140 um, after meals. And for a woman with gestational diabetes, their level should be 90 first thing in the morning and anything below 130. So at this point, that means that I'm actually just borderline hitting those targets and um, I'm hovering above what normal is for gestational diabetes pregnancy. Um, it was really hard to take in actually going through this class because I feel like I've been doing, sorry, it's really difficult to get through this. Um, I felt like I was doing everything I could to, you know, have a healthy and um, safe pregnancy for my baby. But it's just really difficult because I feel like I'm not doing enough for her. I'm trying my best. I've dealt with weight issues a lot my whole life and it's just really difficult because I was like learning to try and embrace, you know, my body image and not be so hard on myself. So I know that I'm being really hard on myself. Um, they say that 60% of women have gestational diabetes. Even women who run marathons all the time and are super healthy, they have gestational diabetes. It's very common. Um, so, you know, right now all I can do is just try to stay positive and just get the help that I need. So I signed up for one-on-one -on -one counseling to get help and I just, I really don't want to um, take insulin or take medication. I just wanna be able to just, you know, change it with diet and exercise, but right now I just don't know where to begin with that. Um, I just, I have anxiety eating now because when every, every single time I check my blood pressure and I, not my blood pressure, sorry, my blood sugar levels and that timer is counting down, it just, it gives me anxiety because I just want to be in range um, so I'm just doing the best I can right now and hopefully you know um, the counselor can help me next week so on the bright side we went to Target and got some more things um, and I also ordered my rocking chair so I'm super excited about that it will come probably right before she's born so the nursery will be prepped and ready when she comes and we'll have another nursery tour when everything's done so stay tuned for that so while my in-laws were in town last week, we asked them for advice on our first pregnancy, and these are a few of the things they had to say. Le aconsejaría que tuviera mucha paciencia y la cuidara y la protegiera para que tu, tenga un embarazo sano y su hijo nazca fuerte y al mismo tiempo ayudarla y apoyarla en el proceso de nacimiento del hijo, a cuidarlo y a todo, porque en ese, en ese proceso las mamás sufren mucho. Cuando nazca la baby, estés atenta, atento en, en, en los momentos de, que, de la noche que están dormidas muchas las veces la mujer la mamá está cansada y, y está dormida y la, y la niña o el niño necesita la ayuda entonces en esos momentos tienes que estar tú listo para poderlos ayudar y a dar darle su tetera si es que la necesita o cambiarle los pampers si es que se hizo del baño 
poder atenderlo durante, el, durante los primeros semanas, que son las más difíciles. Es muy bonito, es lo más hermoso que hay ser papás. Y ahorita que está embarazada Tiffany, les deseo toda la felicidad del mundo. Que tengan paciencia, que lo quieran mucho, que le demuestren su cariño. Que se ayuden uno y otro y se, se disculpen sus errores, que se comprendan. Y que sigan adelante siempre. So this is all the updates I have for this week. Come back next week and I'll keep you posted on my counseling. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.